I will call the Conservation Commission meeting open for June 6th. I will entertain a mo uh, motion to approve minutes for our May 16th meeting. So I'll make the motion. Second. Move and second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Uh, on the agenda, we have administrative discussion for 3 BC Way. This is a uh, certificate of compliance for a single family home on BC Way. We received all the paperwork and request forms, as built plans, and it's been built substantially in compliance. Um, I've reviewed both the proposed plan that we approved and the as built plan, and very, very minor differences in the shape of a deck and a walkway, that type of thing. So I'm recommending that you issue a certificate of compliance without a bond. Any discussion? I'll make that motion. No second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. And we have a new public hearing for 5 Manley Street. Okay. Leave that into the record. We'll be it set up. Under the Wetland Protection Act, Chapter 131, Section 40 of Mass General Law is amended, and the West Bridgewater Wetland Protection Bylaw Rules and Regulations, the West Bridgewater Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing the 6th of June, 2017, in the McDonald Brown Conference Room, 65 North Main Street, for a notice of intent filed by Brecken Engineering on behalf of James Rader to develop a commercial property within 100 feet of a BVW and IVW at 5 Manley Street. And we're open. Uh, yeah. Good evening. Uh, Do you have the green, green cards? Oh, shoot. I don't think I brought them with me. Um, I would recommend that, uh, that we don't, uh, we open the, you did open the public hearing, and we just continue it without any discussion because we don't have any. Uh, evidence that the uh, butters have been informed. Now, okay, I understand that. So. Uh, um, I don't even think we should Maybe they're in your car. take any. I, I know ex as soon as you said that, they're right on my desk. And I, right on right. If you take any uh, presentation, uh, any of butter that would have been here, that would may not have been notified would be able to make a complaint so it's procedural yeah is there any way to um, discuss sending it out for review is that right that well, I was well, going to well, ask well, about that so we get that in motion yeah. and then next yeah. meeting do the presentation and right because even with the presentation we were going to recommend the 53G. Right. So, so, I saw that. so yeah. if that would be appropriate. At least we could get that before the next meeting. Let's right. Do that. Right, that right. is appropriate. All right. So yeah. could All do right. That. All right. Um, based on on the fact that um, I have reviewed the plans, um, and I believe that it would be appropriate for the commission to hire a 53G. I could, um, if you could provide me with a digital copy of the plan and the reports. Yes. I can uh, send that off to the reviewer and have them check it, and it would be Alan and Major that would review it. And they would give us a estimate of their cost, and then uh, if the commission authorizes me to do it, I could have um, the applicant authorize that it would be okay that they would pay the fee and then we would be able to uh, have them begin it and at the next meeting probably have a report. I'll entertain a motion to hire a 53G. I'll make a motion. motion. Second? I'll second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I will entertain a motion to continue the public hearing uh, till the 18th. I think mm -hmm. there isn't a butter here. That, that's all right. Unfortunately, I just don't. Yeah, can't we can't if you can't make it to the next meeting. Yeah. No, because any other yeah. butter yeah. would yeah. not be. But does the 18th that work that. for? Yes. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Just say the next meeting because uh, I'm the not 20th. sure what the date is. The 20th. All right. I knew it wasn't Did the, I say 18th. the 18th. 18th is on the report, but we'll do it till the 20th. I had recommended to July 18th because oh, of oh. the delay, but oh, okay. um, why don't yeah. we make it till to the, the 20th? 20th. So 620. 
I'll entertain a motion to continue to 620. I'll make that motion. Move. Second. Move second, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Thank you. Does anybody want a copy of it? Being built and for someone specific, or they're just putting it in there to as long as there's a no meeting in yet, sell some space. I think this is the one you're going to want to look at. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the bigger one. Yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah. that one's done. That's continued. Um, I might as well zero Belmont. I understand that's also been asked to continue. Do you, you guys want to ask the commission anything, or are you just sit in? I'm here to meet the commission for the oh. first time. <laughs> Our building inspector? Yeah. <laughs> How long you been on the job? Since I think the middle of last September, right? Somewhere in the oh, morning. crap. <laughs> <laughs> mm, nice meeting you. We've met in <laughs> FinCom. Well, he probably attends a lot of planning board and zoning yeah, board. Yeah, I got to go to a zoning board at 7 upstairs. So it's not really personal for us, No, then. it is. I just killing time. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to kill some time. Is that what we are? <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Actually, I wish I, the, uh, that Manly Street, I would have liked to get some more insight on that, but maybe the next meeting. Eldon, do you have any? Oh, I just came out. I'm, I'm heading for the zoning joke. Oh, okay. I'm kind of caught upon this one. So. All right. Uh, nice to see our building inspector here. Besides from what I hear from some of the builders there, they're doing a really good job up there. Bang up, John. There's really nothing else. I think I'd say about him. So, uh, that's all I comment on. <laughs> Thank you. So, Zero Belmont <coughs> has asked for a continuance. Yeah, they're uh, our 53 g um, consultant had prepared quite an extensive amount of recommended uh, changes and reevaluations of their <coughs> wetland line. And um, they, so they've had it for a little while, the applicant, to review that. But apparently their uh, wetland biologist that has uh, flagged it once and will have to go out again has been so busy that they're just getting to it. So he hasn't got them uh, evaluated yet, nor if they do move them, uh, located so that they'll meet at least till the next meeting, the 20th. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to continue to the 20th. I'll make the motion. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. <coughs> the lamppost estates. Same thing. Everybody must be really busy because they're having a difficult time making revisions and things. So sure, they um, are. Yeah. Recommending that that be continued to the twentieth. I'll entertain that motion. I'll make the motion. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And we have Lucas States. Same thing. Wow. Now I'm going to question: Are all of these going to be able to go the twentieth, or do we need to move them out any further? We have um, four new ones on the 20th. Right, well, that's why I'm just thinking our plate. We only have one meeting in July, and that's on the uh, 18th. That's mm. the 18th. So the uh, Lucas States, most likely since um, the um, applicant has not provided us with a 53G fee, and it's already been quoted, uh, it's already been determined, they've just been holding off. <coughs> it hasn't even been done. Yeah. So it hasn't even been reviewed. So my feeling would be that uh, on the 20th, all the Luke stuff would probably be continued uh, to address the 53G. So we can continue it to it, but we'll just have to continue, continue it again that. from that one. Okay. So that'll right. I just up a little bit. Wanted everybody aware <laughs> that we're going to need some buffer space here pretty soon because we're well, going to get when we continue. Do we? 
barring no comment from the applicants, do we continue to the next one automatically? Is that Definitely. law? Uh, yeah. Well, if, can they, we if they don't request um, the continuance, we would have to act on it and deny it on based on lack of information. So they send us a letter spec specifying the date. Uh, how so about just an agenda too full? Yeah. No, um, you just... If it were, then I would say, you know, uh, can you ask for uh, four weeks out? Right, right. Uh, so anticipating the fact that Luke will probably have to be continued, I didn't think it would, be yeah. a, it would just be a minor pause in our meeting. Right. Uh, Lamp posts might be a final. It, it may be that close, but can't be certain for sure. Right. Um, and then we have a couple of new ones that came in. Okay. It's four anyway. And they're just house lot type things. So I think we'll be able to do it and not be here till midnight. Just bring your sleeping bag, Lou. <laughs> What's that? Well, <laughs> take a nap in the afternoon before the meeting. I, I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That's not a shocker. <laughs> well, this is what I get to look forward to, huh, guys? <laughs> when you see the sign up on the door, I'm looking forward in the to hallway uh, <laughs> <laughs> inside the office, not first. Because I'm taking my nap for the long meeting. So. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll entertain a motion to continue um, the Lucas States. Uh, make the motion. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. Uh, I think 109 Spring Street. That one we opened the first meeting and have been continuing it because of the applicant requesting it. So no, no presentation has yet to be made on it. And I think from talking to Hugh Hurley on the planning board, um, the chairman of the planning board, the planning board is pretty well uh, satisfied with all the changes that have been made. And so it's just a formality coming back to us and showing us the changes. Uh, why it's not here tonight, I, I really don't know, but they did ask to be continued to the 20th. Okay. I think you want to get it going. Yeah. All right. <coughs> I'll entertain a motion to continue to the 20th. I'll, I'll, make, uh, go ahead. I'll make the motion. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? All right. Aye. So moved. All right. 125 Bedford Street. That one, um, they've <coughs> addressed all the concerns on the um, letter that was, my report that was written for the last meeting. They submitted mm -hmm. all the proper filing fees for the stormwater application. Uh, they've submitted the correct fees for the delineation now. Uh, so, um, and they did submit a waiver request letter, which I mentioned in my report. Mm -hmm. Uh, is uh, uh, something that the commission could consider based on the fact that they've mitigated uh, for the disturbance of the 50 foot butter, uh, basically no other access in if they were to not use the 50 foot buffer. Uh, but they've mitigated it by providing a conservation easement on the isolated wetland and giving it more protection than just um, saying you can't go in there. Now they will have a deed restriction that will indicate they can't go in there and that'll give it more protection and less uh, oversight that the commission would have to do by periodically stopping and seeing if it's been encroached upon. So I'm recommending that you close the public hearing and issue a standard order of conditions with uh, some special conditions that we normally do for uh, that type of site and grant the waiver on the 50-foot buffer disturbance. Anybody have any discussion? No. Mm -mm. All right. If not, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. I'll make the motion. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Motion to issue an order of conditions with the special conditions for this type of project. I'll make the, I'll I'll make make the, the motion. motion. Second. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And a motion to grant the waiver for the 50 foot work in the buffer. I'll make the motion. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. 
Kitty, you might get your wish. It might be well before 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that when I saw I her agenda. I my bowl of cherry oil. Uh, item number nine. I think you have a... Yep. And for, I didn't get to make the river walk because I was moving a child into an apartment, but I hear it was mm. su- pretty good success. Yeah. Girlfriend and a son. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Was two. I thought it was two. How many people did showed up? I think last year it was 300, John, or... I wasn't there. I was at a high school reunion out in the western part of the state, so I wasn't yeah. able to come. Was still All I know is from social room. media, it so went over yeah. great. I mean, yeah. kids yeah. Were loved it. Policemen were playing with cows. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't around this weekend to see it. Uh, so um, I sent out an email today to both the Open Space Committee, mm-hmm. the um, Conservation Committee, in uh, anticipation that we should be uh, ready to run once we have the mobile home demolished and removed from the site. So currently the site is what you see outlined in yellow uh, boundary lines with the center of the river being uh, the southerly boundary. And uh, the area that's in this general vicinity here is where the mobile home now sits. Right. There's a a uh, gravel uh, driveway that comes in to the end of the, would be the easterly end, or as you're facing it from the street, the left end of the mobile home, there's a gravel driveway there, and there's a, a paved driveway that comes in right about in this area right here, probably big enough for a car uh, length and not much more, and, and it's kind of a, a raised area with a little bit of a retaining wall structure that holds it up. The idea that I'm presenting for your consideration and the Open Space Committee's consideration is to (coughs) eliminate that blacktop driveway that comes in and um, enlarge the gravel area to encompass the area that's now currently below the uh, mobile home, which is basically gravel anyway. So there's really not a lot of work to be done there, just to designate it as a parking area with a fence enclosure around it with a a access gate here and a small gate for a footpath down to a a canoe kayak launching area, which is not going to be really a structure at all. Um, My idea would be to put uh, some geogrids, um, the plastic hollow uh, fairly thick geo grid along the bank so that it stabilizes it from any foot traffic that might be causing some um, possible chances for erosion that would kind of hold it together and still allow the grasses to grow up through it. Um, on either side of it would be a bench and a, p- a picnic table structure pavilion underneath a roofed uh, area. And then uh, this area would be designated for event type parking. It would be an overflow uh, area, but not utilized except for during a, an event that would have more than what can be held in a small parking area here that's typically somebody pulling in to put their canoes and kayaks down the river. We don't want them driving all the way down. We don't want them driving no. down here. Um, there's a gate, existing gate over here, that would be rehab to be more secure, possibly even look a little bit more authentic than a um, galvanized type uh, farm gate. There would be a sign that could be viewed from this direction, designating it like you see at Truckee's Landing, Holmes Hill, uh, some of the other conservation areas, Beaverton Woods, we have a sign like that. There would be one there and a uh, not the same type of sign, but one that would say Pratt's Landing parking area so that people coming from the other direction would see uh, that it is Pratt's Landing. There would be a kiosk there with the rules, the history, some information about it. Same over here. Um, there would be the potential for a commu- small, narrow community garden up here with, uh, again, memorial benches. 
there could be uh, three, two more, sorry, two more picnic table uh, pavilions and a fire pit with benches around it and a uh, lecture or concert area, amphitheater type uh, place there. And all of this isn't going to require construction, major construction, for example, the posts for the pavilions would be uh, sonar tubes uh, set into the ground with uh, the attachment for the, the uh, uprights put on the concrete of the top of the sonar tubes. The uh, crosshatch area here is going to be left as a vegetative buffer. It's basically what has always been the edge of the field that was mowed. Um, that will be allowed to have some uh, vista pruning occasionally when it's needed. The general area here would be mowed uh, probably by uh, some type of uh, large lawn tractor type thing, not, not by the farming because all of a sudden we've got things in their way and it doesn't make it very easy for a farming activity. So it would have to be more of that. And it's not something right at the moment that the um, Open Space Committee or the Conservation Committee should be thinking, commission, sorry, um, that the Parks and Recreation will do. Um, they really don't have the staff at this point, so it's gonna have to be done by some volunteers that would uh, help take care of it. The, uh, this area is same, it would be a vegetative buffer and uh, some small vista pruning, some selective pruning along the street to uh, keep the invasive nuisance type brush down, but not to tear up all the trees that are along through that section. Uh, the memorial benches, are designated that way in case somebody wants to, to contribute some money to put a bench there and then there would be a plaque saying that it's in memory of or in honor of a particular loved one and I already have people who are interested in doing that either for the picnic pavilion uh, and picnic table and benches or uh, one or the other or a number of them it depends on how much money there is uh, coming from people we also have a grant that Kitty was able to uh, obtain that we, we can use as part of the enhancement of this. The mobile home is being removed uh, by a, a donor and that particular donor is handling the whole process. Um, we do have to pump and fill back in an old cesspool and we're waiting before that process can begin to have all the utility companies remove their service lines to the mobile home. Now, I've indicated a power here, and there's an existing power pole with a uh, meter and a uh, panel where uh, the power can be left there and we become responsible for paying the monthly rate on it to be able to provide power to some type of uh, public address system for some type of lecture or a concert down at the edge of the water. The um, benches will be set in the ground and not, um, no, no big major construction. Uh, I've got a preliminary design for everything, the pavilion, the tables, the benches, and they're all the standard types that uh, are used in conservation areas and along the Appalachian Mountain Trail or areas where con conservation uh, recreation is going on. And I, oh, uh, in this area here, it's just going to be left open for a farmer's market, um, a reenactment for um, Civil War days or revolutionary reenactments that there's quite a few groups that now like to do those things. And we could occasionally have uh, someone come in and, and do one and it would be a good attraction and a reason for people to come there. 
uh, like it was mentioned earlier on Riverwalk, it would be an area that could be utilized for that activity. And um, this area here would be um, left just as it is right today. It's already being mowed right down to the edge of the river. And um, with maybe some restrictions, it would be kept the same way as it is today. So that's the kind of the general um, layout for the misspelled management plan of Pratt's Landing. We'll be revising the plan already to... Uh, Excuse me, can we borrow a few chairs for that? Sure. Yeah. Yep. What's the total size of the parcel again, John? check with the select board to see if they can take those. It was about 120 the purchase price for 120000 I mean, for the, uh, how big is it? Oh, how big? I'm sorry. Uh, it's just about two acres. Two acres. Okay, now, I'll say it again. How far is it from the river to the, ri to the road? Yeah, the depth of the lot. Yeah. Um, probably. It's from here to there. It's probably about 200 feet okay. <coughs> from here to here. And so the only part that's not probably within 200 feet is this area up here. Okay, now, for in the past, riverfront, 200 feet, non, not disturbed. How can we do this? Previously, previously disturbed. disturbed. I mean, previously yeah. disturbed. It was previously disturbed. That would be the so, only. So, but even still, I mean, so we can continue previously re uh, disturbing the area. Yeah. As long as we're not disturbing it more than what was already existing. And as long <laughs> as long as we don't uh, disturb and and again, it's kind of a gray area whether I. Uh, taking the mobile home out and just utilizing the gravel uh, underneath the, the mobile home itself. Is that disturbing it or is that leaving it the way it really was? So I can understand the top corner, but I mean, then we'll have people down there, um, functions, like you said, like a little music thing maybe going on. Picnic area. Picnic area and all that stuff. So previously disturbed before was just basically couple animals out there and get mowed. Yeah, mowed. So you figure all this going in here, all the future, whatever going to be done with this property is not going to be more disturbed than that. Because I'm not trying to say anything, but I'm just saying, you know, it seems to me it's going to be more disturbed, especially putting in a, maybe a the garden area up on top there? Yeah. There was never a garden in there before. So it's going to be disturbed more that way. Well, I guess it depends on what you want to consider disturbing. So okay. let's say um, that we are proposing to cut this area down to the river and make it a lawn instead of leaving it as a, as a um, vegetative buffer. Yeah. That would be a disturbance that wasn't there before, and we are drastically changing the characteristics. The fact that it was a uh, hay field um, and utilized for hay, and now we're proposing a, a community garden, which is basically an agricultural activity, it's, it's not really uh, changing it. And then also putting benches in, I mean, we're talking about small disturbances of setting the post on the ground, but it's not a... No, but I mean, I'm just talking about people. There's going to be more presence there, yeah, there will than be. there was before. I'm just saying in case somebody complains. Yeah, I'm looking I'm at it that you're, to look at, you're look moving at, the trailer, you're cleaning the cesspool, no, so getting that, which is an improvement. Like you're not having the farm like, animals in the pasture with the manure getting washed into the river. I so like I mean, how it is. I so like how everything is, but I'm just saying. Right. So yeah. you're, you're you're right. I'm just trying to bring yeah. up a point yeah. that yeah. maybe somebody will if complain about. It. Or whatever. It's a trade-off. I mean, it's well, if you, it's all not disturbed down the end there, so there was no manure really flowing off down there. Now you're going to have more people walking in the area, so you're going to have more of a runoff because it's going to be matted down more instead of the um, the grass hole in the back. Yeah, and that's why we want to keep a vegetative yeah. buffer along that, that I understand that, but I'm just talking, you know, it could be somebody... 
it's a it's a point well taken that, that we should be prepared to uh, answer. Yeah, that's like why that. I'm just trying to think. I mean, it's a good setup. I like how it is. It's good use for the uh, property, but. So, John, couldn't you move the buffer up a little further? Sure. In the future, in case it was you know, eroded or would start to erode, instead of a five foot, yeah, make it a ten foot or fifteen work foot. Well, we can expand it. We also probably should look at some of the high water level history of that because we may have to move it up just because <laughs> I'm studying as I'm looking at it thinking that that pavilion area in the theater sure. maybe Well, like it's not all that gigantic years. either. Right. I mean, it's... On given days, you have many days where no one's down there at all, too. Yeah, I think someone um, had come into the office and indicated how far from the edge of the mobile home that's there now back where the water had flooded during that rainy period that we had recently. Mm -hmm. So we'll have something to gauge that on. And we should keep that in mind for anything that's being put in there that you don't want it to float away. Yeah, so float away. So it have to be moved back yeah. or be well, able... that you can adjust by up and down the river with the uh, dam down the yeah, parts that you had to. But I'm just saying the, the river, with all this rain that we've had now, I mean, that's pretty much probably kind of peaking to where the highest point probably is now but I'm just saying I just it's a good setup and everything but I just you know somebody says anything about it that can understand it because it is being for my looking at it being more disturbed than it was I don't know I'm just saying so. I mean, we can throw, defend it you, throw you feel right. we can yeah. defend it yeah I'm not just trying to throw something but you know because people have asked me about it. And to now, right now, I had no idea what was going to be exactly done to it until just Right, tonight. and again, this is a conceptual plan. It's not etched in stone. We've no, got hearings and everything no. to go through. I understand, and it's I understand. Something, a possible use of it is. So <laughs> we're, <coughs> but we but need to vote on the conceptual plan. No. Well, and, I'll, Event. and also keep in mind that if you think it needs less or more of anything, just, mm -hmm. just let us know. I mean, eventually, there'll be something we'll have to vote on. But right now, it's just feedback, and this is what we're looking at. Yeah, and open I mean, space I, hasn't looked at it or done much with it, and it's just yeah. Right. In, in the same drawing. Well, it's was, a plan, yeah. right? Yeah. The I same mean, drawing was attached to the email, so you can look at it. In I your, saw it. Yeah. Your leisure, yeah. Leisure time. Just hate to, to say, okay, yeah, that looks great. Let's go for it, and then people will say, wait. Right, and that's you know, why it's we've we've done these plans before. We've had to come back numerous times because we have to change this, change that, change that. Right. How come you can just do it all at once? I'm just saying that's. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are going to say. Right, it's just like the dog do park. This, it's do going to have to go through that whole process. Yeah. So. yeah. So. And one of the things that will uh, really dictate how quickly any of this is done is um, how much money is something going to cost, and do we have that money available? So my first idea would be. Um, before anything else is done, a sign in a kiosk should be built and constructed. And that way at least there's a presence there now that, that it is Pratt's Landing. Yeah. It, is, yeah. uh, it does have some rules. We don't want you driving all over and doing donuts on the field, that type of thing. <laughs> um, yeah, right. and, then, and then some of these other things, you know, they can kind of wait. Um, and it will cost money to put them in, so we may not have that money. And if we say, geez, that's not a good idea, a year from now, then we haven't wasted anything because it hasn't gone in yet. But I, I really think we should have the sign and the, the gate, for example, should be probably replaced and, and the uh, kiosk. So, you know, we probably start off with that alone. And you know, at least I'll tell it in some future process, you know future whatever is going to be going on there. Right. <coughs> Not big enough for another great woods. Or <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe if I was sit out there with my karaoke, I'm thinking I'm as good as <laughs> at being at great woods. But Now, did the abutters know about this? No. Okay. No, we're, we're uh, as part of the demolition of the trailer we're going to have to hold a hearing yeah. and I'm suggesting that we do a request for determination to see if this is going to impact the wetlands. And is this going to be maybe the is it going to be open for certain like could be night events, day events or just day events? Permit, like 
Because I'm happy. just saying, like, if the butters might say, geez, it's going to cause a lot of wreck. It'll be similar to what we did with Holmes's Hill, come up with a whole yeah. plan of who can, if, what they want to use and what will allow to be used. And yeah. So well, right right now, the uh, library does have um, a scheduled event there, and they're just going to meet there informally with chairs that are brought in and nothing permanent, and they'll have, they'll have a concert and a lecture in honor of uh, the 200th birthday of Henry David Thoreau. Yeah. And, uh, and they, they're calling it Hoot Nanny. So we'll know a little bit more about that on Friday because they do have a, a planning meeting over at the library. They want to discuss it. So I'll know a little bit more about it. But yes, there will be rules here that, mm -hmm. and that, that'll be posted on the kiosk on the town website so that people have to get permission to use it and not just Go all night long partying. Yeah. So, I think it's a start. I, I like it. I mean, it's a start. It's a start. We'll yeah. Go through the process and yeah. okay. see what the I'll see what the Open Space Committee has to say because they yeah. probably will be doing a lot of the, the heavy work. So, looks good. good. good right. Anybody else have anything else? Oh, Ryan. Um, I was telling these guys. Uh, the, gate up at uh, Esther Drive. Yeah. I got two sections for fifty dollars. Okay. A lot less than what we had to buy brand new. So I went up and fitted one section. I've got to bring up the gate part but I fitted the other and it fits in. It's got the hooks and everything. Maybe wanna maybe try this Sunday afternoon. Yeah maybe I'll go home and I gotta check but I'm just saying I'll let you know we'll get it up and put it up there. It doesn't look like there's gonna be much to do because everything's all it's gonna blend in perfect. So, okay. and then we could take up. I'll take a picture of you. You take a picture of me. And we can send, it to <laughs> send it to Kitty because she's. Is that be door around. open, John? I mean, is that doing any good for overflow? Maybe when we get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> um, Before you yeah, adjourn. The question came up about um, now that the, the town owns the River Bend Golf Course. Um, the question is should we send a memo to the town's Board of Selectmen indicating that uh, if there were any planned changes to the golf course, either by the town or the management company, that there are wetland uh, jurisdictions out there, both from the wetlands and the river? Um, we both from the wetlands and the riverfront uh -huh. um, <laughs> on the golf course. So, um, so that's a point well taken that we need to be con uh, consulted on. It. So we're wondering, Kitty and I, whether we should send that uh, memo to the town so that it can be eventually forwarded on to the management company, <coughs> just alerting them to the fact that the there are, if there are any changes, it would require some approval from the commission before they do it yes and in addition to that that they um, might want to be aware of the fact that the uh, high street dam in bridgewater is in the process of being removed uh, they're doing studies and everything but it's basically just a formality and it will probably eventually happen unless something uh, drastically changes with the owner wanting to uh, repair the dam, which not very many owners of dams nowadays want to do that. They are glad to have the state come in and pay for having the dam removed. And so there's a lot of grants out there for states to, uh, for towns to uh, either get rid of their dams or owners who own dams get rid of their dams. <coughs> it, it's just a, a long process. The Cotton Gin Dam in East Bridgewater has been at least 10, 12 years now. In it's slated for August, I think in the making to have it removed. Go. So it takes a long process because there, um, it takes a lot of studies, but the studies always come out proving that it's more valuable to take the dam down than to leave it. So um, the golf course management and also the town should know that there might be a time where the river isn't as wide as it looks today or uh, only during flood state or heavy rain stages might it be as wide as it, it is today. 
but we even see sometimes in the summer the dam, uh, the uh, e with the dam in both uh, at War Memorial Park and down at High Street, that uh, the brook uh, right alongside Truckee's Landing, for example, is is hard to see that there's even a brook there. It's a small, small little stream. So um, you know the brooks and rivers do change based on the amount of water supplying them. So. Uh, it may not be an impact, but we just want to alert them. <coughs> How do they irrigate the golf course? They pump it out of the river? Or? That's what I've been told. I don't know that for a fact, but I've been Is told. Is that, that okay? Yeah. Um, if they are, they need to report the quantities to DEP, and if they take too much out, I think DEP would say stop. Yeah. Um, if there's no water there, it's over three million for three consecutive months. They have to have a permit. With a lot of it, do, do they figure uh, out how much can go back into know. the ground? This, yeah. <laughs> or is that just uh, something that but for a golf course? I, I think they're looking at all. It's of not it necessarily a lot. So it's probably <laughs> actually, yeah. yeah. So it's probably a wash in their mind, but um, true. Tim seems to know a little bit more about it, so that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if if they do the three million for three consecutive months, they have to get a DEP withdrawal permit. I see. And they may not meet that threshold, hmm. but they still have to record how much they do pump, just so that they can prove that they aren't going over. Yes, theoretically, it all finds its way back. Yeah, somewhere. Is there any way to prove how much can go back in? There? Yeah, right. yeah. That's but it's nice. more that you're taking too much out and affecting too the fast. habitat, That's right? Yeah. Of what's in there? Because it that's takes what they longer wanna. to seep back in yes. than it does to sure. pull it out. Sure. So if the commission is. Uh, interest in having us do that we can send it or if you think we just I think it's a good idea to send no, them a reminder that they're not exempt because they're a town entity yeah, I mean it's <laughs> that it's on file and yeah, yeah. But yeah. they gotta follow the rules too so. yeah. yeah yeah okay that's all I, all I have do you want to do it or do you anybody want else to do if it? nothing else I'll entertain a motion yeah. motion to adjourn yes move did second you, you know, did Kitty have something just come. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Moved and seconded. Second talks. Yeah. All done. Aye. We're